8.3 evaluating logarithms today. This is where the fun starts. I love logarithms. I think they're just kind of fun to do. Um, and all you have to do is remember this little saying here. Can you read this for me? B a log bay. Oh my goodness. How easy is that to remember? Be a log bay. Now I invented this long before bay was a cool word. So um, yeah, someone stole it from me. Be a log bay. That's all you need to remember. And you're going to use this a lot when you're working with logarithms because you have to go back and forth between the different formats when you get stuck when you're solving some of the, um, the equations. So let's take a look at this. So if we have, let me switch over to a better pencil. If you have three squared is nine and I want to write it in logarithmic form, look how easy that is. I write log. What's my base? B, three. What's my answer? Nine. What was my exponent? Two. So that says three squared equals nine. Three squared equals nine. Okay, so four cubed equals 64. Base, exponent, answer. B, a. Uh. So I write log. I put my base. My base is four. My answer is 64. And my exponent was three. Four to the power of three is 64. Okay, let's try some other little more difficult ones. These are all examples from your, your homework assignments. I'm going to do um, many of them so that you get the hang of it. So log base 3, 1 over 27. Now I want to know what the answer to this is. So it's very easy for me to just say, well, let's let that equal to x and solve for this x. So that means that 3 to the power of x has to be equal to 1 over 27. Now you probably remember last year when you are doing some work with exponents that if you can write them with the same base, then you can just equate the exponents. So 3 to the x, 1 over 27 is 3 cubed 1 over it. So that means 3 to the negative 1 or negative 3. So we say 3 to the negative 3. And now that the bases are the same, x equals negative 3. So 3 to the negative 3 is 1 over 27. You can always double check your work on these. That's what's so nice about them. Log base 2 of 10 is equal to x. Well, I can't solve that in my head because 2 to the x equals 10. That's not really something that you can evaluate easily. But there is another way to do it, and it's called the change of base form. So because the base is 2 and your calculator is 10, there's this little rule that if I take the log of a and divide it by the log of b, I can find that answer. Now you should know intuitively that if 2 to the x equals 10, x has to be somewhere between 3 and 4, given that 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the 4th is 16. But if you write it like this, so I do the log of 10 divided by the log of 2 equals, need a calculator for that, let's clear this, log, log 10, don't forget a bracket here or it won't work, log 10 divided by log 2 equals, and I get 3.321, approximately 3.32, let's say. Okay, so that makes sense because, like I said, 2 cubed was 8, 2 to the 4th was 16. Okay, this one, log 2, 2, 2. Oh, there's so many 2's here. Okay, so the question is, what do I raise 2 to, 2, 2, to get 2 to the 2? And the answer is simply 2. How easy was that one? Let's go over to this one here. Log base 5, the cube root of 125. So the cube root of 125, um, that's the same as log base 5 of 5 to what power? What would this power be if I have this, the cube root of 25? So that would have been 25 to the one third, right? Because this is the cube root. But 25 can be written as 5 squared. So I have 5 squared to the one third. So that's log base 5 of 5 to the 2 thirds. And there's your answer right there. What do I raise 5 to to get 5 to the 2 thirds? Well, the answer is simply 
two thirds and you're done. And to this one over here, two log base two sixty four. So again, you want to write this with a base of two, and I'll show you an easier way to solve this one afterwards. But it's a good idea to understand it. So what power two to what power gives me sixty four? Uh, you should know that two to the five is thirty two, so two to the six. So what do I raise two to to get two to the six? Well, that's six. So that means this is. 2 to the 6, and 2 to the 6 is 64. And look, we had that answer right here to start with. So there's a couple of little rules here that I've outlined. So if you have log base b1, b to the 0 is 1. Log base b of b to the x, what do I raise b to to get b to the x? Your answer is x. And if I have b, log base b of x, then my answer is also x. So those are pretty... Um, pretty basic rules that you should know to make your life a little bit easier. Okay, so let's just do, I've got six more questions here, and we'll run through them, and then you can go do some practice on your own. Log base 2, 1 quarter minus log base 3, 1. Now, you can't subtract, we're going to do some questions a little later on where you're going to combine these, but you should note that these have different bases, so they need to be evaluated separately. So log base 2, 1 quarter. So the question is, what do, how can I write 1 quarter with a base of 2? So you should know that's 2. 2 squared is 4, so 2 to the minus 2 is 1 quarter. And what do I raise 3 to to get 1? You should say 0. And this answer here, log base 2 of 2 to the negative 2, my answer is right here. So I had minus 2 minus 0. Or minus 2. Um, these are right from your homework assignment. So this is 5f log base 3, the root of 27. So you can set this equal to x if you want to, or you can just rearrange, um, like write this with the same base, and then you can find the answer right away. So 27, this is the half power. So this is 27 to the half. But 27 is the same as, I can write that with a base of 3, and that's what I want. I want it to match this base. So that's 3 cubed to the half. And exponents like power to a power, you multiply those. So this is just log base 3 of 3 to the 3 halves. So my answer is 3 halves. That's kind of a long way of doing it, but you could have also said, uh, set this equal to x and said 3 to the x is equal to the root of 27. I'm not sure that would have helped you anymore because you would still have to write this with a base of 3. Okay, let's move on to question 6 here. So I have log base x of 27 is equal to 3. So this one's a little written a little differently now. So still I'm going to use log bay b a be a log bay, right? So I'm going to change this from logarithmic form to exponential form. So my base is x, so x to the power of 3 equals 27. See how I did that? x to the power of 3 is 27. So that means the cube root of x is my answer. So if I take the cube root of this, I would say x and the cube root of 27 is of course 3. Log base 1 quarter x equals minus 2. So that means that a quarter, 1 quarter to the negative 2 is equal to x. So this is base exponent answer. Log bay. Here's my exponent here, right? B log bay. Remember that. And it sounds silly, but it will really work. So what's 1 quarter to the negative 2? Well, that's 4 squared, which is 16. So 1 quarter to the um, negative 2 is equal to 16. So you'd flip it and square it. Okay, number 9, I have 5, log base 5, 25. Now you should know right away your answer is 25. If not, you could write it out like this log base 5, 5 squared, 
So the answer to this part is 2. So I have 5 squared, and that gives me 25 again. And finally, the last one this morning, 4 log base 4, 1 over 16. So let's write this with a base of 4. So 1 over 16 is 4 to the negative 2. So 4 to the negative 2, the answer, what do I raise 4 to to get negative 2? And you should say that's 4 to the negative 2, and that's 1 over 16. So again, this is your answer here. This was your answer here. So save your time and do it that way. Okay, so that ends um, 8.3. And I hope that helped you out. And if you haven't subscribed, please please subscribe so that we can have um, more subscribers on my channel and make me very happy. And if I get enough subscribers, I promise I'll work on calculus and vectors next. All the best. Good luck with your logarithms.